How's it going? Tyler here with Main Angling and I'm going to show you how I do some quick live edge charcuterie boards. Picked up some great maple from my local lumber mill at Lois Lake Lumber um, and we're going to just go through the process of making some of these guys. This piece has some nice figuring in it so I'm going to put handles on it. I'm not going to bother uh, cutting the handle shape to give it more interest because I find the grain on this already great. So we're going to make two out of this board. There is enough room for a third, um, but I'll show you in a second. There's a bit of an inclusion in it um, that eventually I'll pour epoxy into. But for this video, I don't feel like doing that. So we're going to work around it on the other pieces and we will go from there. Um, feel free to follow along, ask if you have any questions and enjoy. So we're just taking a quick look at the lumber here and you can start to see that inclusion of bark in the middle of the wood there so we're going to take a cut on each side we're measuring it out one board is going to be around 18 inches long the other one will be about 14. I did decide after that intro that I'm going to do one with um, metal handles and one I'm going to cut handles into. Um, first thing first though we're measuring it out I'm going to get the end squared up take it over to the table saw in just a minute here and get those pieces cut up. Now this will hopefully be my last project in my not real shop space and having to do this stuff outside. Uh, I'm going to be moving into a new place with a new shop pretty soon here. Usually this could be done on a sled but using the miter gauge is just as easy to adjust the angle a little bit. I'm not really looking for a 90 necessarily because these are live edge boards just trying to make it square with one face of the live edge. Once those pieces are broken down, I'm going to put them on a flattening sled to run through my benchtop planer here. Once I have one side flat, then we'll take the sled off and we will square up the other side parallel to it. Going to do both pieces on the sled first and then take that out and finish it off. Once that's done, I'm going to take this over and do a little bit of a CA touch up um, to fill the little gaps. And from there, we'll move it over into the vise to clean up the edges. Going to use a wire brush just to get most of the bark off. I will, when I'm sanding it, hit it with 220 grit on the edges just to get the final amount off without taking away any of the featuring of it. Using my uh, rigid oscillating sander here to clean up the edges and I'll also use that to clean up around the handle shape on this one. I actually ended up messing up after this and broke that piece off. I cut it a little too thin so I ended up reshaping it which you'll see in just a minute here using a, using a keyhole saw. Once that's done I ended up tracing out a shape around it to fit the curvature and then we will move on to rounding over the rest of the corners. Once I was happy with that shape, I took it over to the bandsaw, trying to make it uh, even and uniform on both sides. I uh, ended up having to change that shape a little bit to make it come in closer to the hole I had cut out. Mm -hmm. 
Now here is using uh, an eighth inch round over bit to hit all of the non live edge surfaces, including inside the hole there, um, just to chamfer it off a little bit. I'll do this on the other board that has the handles too. And from there we are on to sanding. Now I won't make you sit around and watch this whole process, but I'm starting at about 80 grit here, taking both boards down, not hitting the live edge at this point because I don't want to take off too much material, being sure to hit the round overs and any sort of uh, extra shrapnel material that the router sometimes chews up. Now I broke my spray bottle a few days ago and haven't got a new one, but this is where you'll want to raise the grain a little bit by adding water. It helps to uh, make those grain pores open up and we'll get a better finish on the board and it won't uh, get all gunky after uh, you've got it wet when you're using it. So getting it wet here quickly, let that dry and then sanding again and I'm going up to... In total, I'll end up going to 500 grit and I'll do two of those grain pops with the water and we'll hit the edges here a bit and then we're ready to go. Once I was happy with how all the surfaces were sanded, including um, that little handle hole I put in, I will do a quick coat of mineral oil onto this. Um, this is just a saturating coat. Once this is done and dry, I let that dry for a number of hours. Then I will come back with a top conditioner coat of mineral oil and beeswax. But before I do that, I'm going to get the handles in this one. So I'm measuring about where I want them. I like to always lay it out first and see how it looks. I'm going about 7 eighths of an inch off the edge. And this handle is measured at about 4 inches to the center of the holes. Measuring it out, lining it, lining it up. I'm going to do the drilling. And then I use uh, some countersink bits on both ends to make sure that those uh, screw heads aren't protruding and aren't proud so that it is just wood that's sitting on the countertop. And I like to also hit the top side just a bit to make sure those edges are clean. Then we'll go on to the install, which is pretty straightforward. Get the handle screwed on there. And once that is done and good to go, I'm coming back with some of my mineral oil and beeswax conditioner, putting a coat of that on, letting it sit. I will then buff it off after that, and we are good to go. And now here you will see the finished boards. If you made it this far, I'd really appreciate uh, hitting that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This is the first one with handles and the other one with this round cutout handle, which I actually quite like the shape of. This is all made using local maple. Uh, the mill's about a 10 minute drive from my house, so it's great to have that local products. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a great day.